Since the beginning of our existence, we humans have turned to technology whenever we've been faced with a problem. We have always strived for excellence. We want better things at a faster pace. The world was too big to travel on ships, so we invented airplanes. Sharing information via postal mail was too slow, so we came up with the internet. Many a times, this constant pursuit of excellence also helps us in discovering new use cases for previous inventions that could never have been imagined before. For example, the use case of credit cards was to avoid paying in cash all the time, but then carrying credit cards everywhere became a hassle in itself. The solution came from yet another invention called NFC, or Near Field Communications. Now we can simply load the card onto smartphones and use our phones for payments. When smartphones were invented, this use case wasn't even on the horizon. Another technology that is opening up new use cases for previous inventions is NFTs or non-fungible tokens. In today's video, we look at a thought experiment on how NFTs can disrupt the event ticketing space. Welcome to Leapfrog, a channel dedicated to making animated explainer videos simplifying crypto and decentralized finance. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our future videos explaining the magic behind the scenes of crypto. The live event ticketing space has seen a lot of innovation over the years. Before, the internet fans would buy tickets over the phone at the venue box office or offer resellers. Then the internet came along and the resellers found access to a huge number of buyers like they had never seen before. Initially, sports teams and other event organizers fought against this newfound power of the resellers. The reason? Resellers would buy all the cheap tickets the moment they became available and then sell them for a higher price on the internet and the organizers would get no part of the profit from the secondary sales. Let's say a sports team sells the tickets for its games for $100 each. A secondary marketplace can buy all the tickets the moment they become available and resell them on their website for $300 each. The team gets no profits beyond the initial sale. To get around this, sports teams and organizers exclusively partner with a ticket reseller like Ticketmaster. This allows them to earn a share of the revenue from the secondary ticket sales. Even then, since the partnership is usually with only one ticket reseller exclusively, the organizers still miss out on a lot of secondary sales profits. For example, Ticketmaster, the brand most sports teams partner with, only has 47% market share. The profits from the secondary sales of the remaining 53% of tickets never reach the organizers at all. This is problem number one. Problem number two is fake tickets. The French minister stated that over 70% of Champions League final tickets in 2022 were not genuine. The match had to be delayed because of the chaos at the entry gate caused by people carrying duplicate tickets. This duplication issue exists because digital tickets suffer from a lack of ownership. In the past, people took a screenshot of their ticket and resold it on multiple sites. Only the first person to enter the stadium got access to the event. For those familiar with crypto, this issue is called the double spend problem. The magic of the blockchain is that it allows digital assets to be transferred from one platform to another. NFTs are not only available on OpenSea, they're accessible on Rarible, Coinbase NFT, and all other NFT platforms. NFTs have the potential to solve both the problems we discussed before. Minting tickets of NFTs on a blockchain allows event organizers and sports teams to keep track of every ticket sale, whether it's primary or secondary. Instead of collecting royalties on just 47% of the ticket market share, teams would generate revenue every time the NFT switch hands. This feature is enabled by the power of smart contracts. If you are new here and don't know what smart contracts are, we made a video explaining them in detail a few weeks ago. You can find the link for that video in the description. By their very definition, NFTs also solve the fake ticketing problem. Each NFT is non-fungible, meaning it's unique and cannot be replaced. They offer verifiable, real-time digital ownership, which means each time an NFT switches owners, it's documented for public view. Dallas Mavericks owner and business tycoon Mark Cuban has publicly stated that the Mavericks are considering turning tickets into NFTs, but laying down the initial infrastructure will take some time. Platforms like Ticketmaster have started toying around with NFTs, but haven't committed yet. Blockchains are still a nascent tool that will undoubtedly experience growing pains. But it seems to be only a matter of time before NFTs take the world by storm. Ticketing appears to be the Trojan horse for doing so.
This is all just a thought experiment and we would love to hear from you in the comments about what other use cases NFTs can unlock. If you enjoyed watching this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We make these videos every week and your support keeps us going.